Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tigers Calling. In this session of the video, we're going to talk about the introduction regarding the bioenergetics. So we're going to talk about the introduction to bioenergetics. So uh, the most of the credit uh, of the uh, of this concept of this video goes to the Khan Academy because they really uh, helped me to understand these concepts. So I'm I'm just referring it further to you. So uh, in this section, what we're going to do, we're going to discuss a few things in a very quick way. So we have to have a good concept of bioenergetics. And uh, when we're going to read or uh, going to give a lecture or understand other lectures regarding the metabolism or you can say the TCA cycle, citric cycle, all those cycles and those difficult con concepts that come into the bioenergetics would be easy. So if you... <coughs> Sorry, if you understand this lecture very well, you're going to cover up all that thing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk, start from the photosynthesis, how the and how the glucose is made, and very quick review, very 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 quick review. So how glucose is made, and finally how glucose is through cellular respiration is converted into the form of the ATP, and and how we're gonna use uh, utilize it. And after we're compa comparing, uh, we will be comparing this chart with this chart, and how the energy uh, is reserved in this case. And again, in the and further, we're going to talk about the Gibbs free energy and exergonic reaction. And finally, we're going to talk about the endergonic reaction. So the bioenergetics is actually the study of how organisms manage their energy. Or you can also say it's a study of energy changes accompanying biochemical reactions. Or it actually describes the transfer and utilization of energy in biological reactions. Well, so here what happens. Consider that there is a plant in a pot. There is a plant growing on. And this is a plant and the light or you can say the sunlight is struck a particular wavelength is struck on a, a plant that the, through the process of photosynthesis we are going to make a glucose so this section would be explaining a quick review regarding the photosynthesis and in here so on the other side we're going to talk about the cellular respiration they are they are pretty much same except uh, they're pretty much same because they're product and the uh, the reactants kind of uh, shuffle up and we go in a kind of in a positive direction we're going to talk about that in the in the uh, in the end i'm going to compare it in the end so what happens for example light is struck uh, in on a, in, in uh, the uh, in a plant on you know through the process of photosynthesis what happens the light the energy splits the hydrogen molecules into the proton and the oxygen molecule or here the oxygen molecule so oxygen goes away hydrogen when it passes through it uh, it actually reduces the NADP and convert it into the NADPH so this is also an energy molecule and also through this gradient when the hydrogen crosses a particular uh, side so this gradient also creates another another ATP so this is an ATP formed and another molecule of NADP H is formed which is also in high in energy so the NADP NADPH has actually uh, is actually kind of in energy in terms of energy is equal to 3 ATP or you can sometimes it's written as 2.5 ATP and in terms of the energy so the NADPH energy energy molecule ATP again energy molecule go through the Kelvin cycle in Kelvin cycle we use carbon dioxide the fixation of carbon dioxide so through the Kelvin cycle these both are used and finally we get the glucose all right so we got the glucose now what happens this glucose through the cellular respiration gives us what ATP here we ATP which is actually an energy so here we brought the energy which was converted into the glucose through these processes and this stored energy is finally going to be released for use for to be used in endergonic reaction which we're going to talk about in just a bit so what happened this glucose is, is going to convert to the ATP through a process called cellular respiration so what happened in cellular respiration uh, the glucose first is going to convert into the pyruvate and, and after the pyruvate is going to convert into the acetyl CoA Co so the acetyl CoA is going to enter through the TCA cycle where the carbon dioxide release and the energy molecules which is NADH and plus FADH2 I have talked about the NADH which is is equal to 3 ATP and FADH2 is equal to 1.5 ATP 
So this through the TCA cycle, the NAD, NADH, actually uh, the TCA cycle, NADH, TH, and FADH2 is formed and carbon dioxide released. And this finally, NADH and FADH2 is going again through the electron transport chain and loses their hydrogen and create an energy created in the form of energy that is the ATP. Again, this hydrogen combines with oxygen forming the water. So this is very easy concept. Like here we got a photosynthesis, and here we got a cellular respiration. In photosynthesis, we got a Kelvin cycle. In the in the uh, cellular respiration, we got TCA cycle. TCA cycle is also called as Krebs cycle. Um, there are other. There's also another name. I just don't remember that one. All right. So what happens? Just get it. This one. Few odds are going to match up. So what is here? This there are few reactants and products. So water in in this case is a reactant. I'm highlighting the reactant with this color. This is a reactant. Another reactant, we have carbon dioxide over here. And the product is glucose and oxygen. So you can say glucose in here act as, I'm sorry, I have to use this color, orange color. In this case, glucose is a product and oxygen is a product. So two reactants, two products. Glucose and oxygen product, carbon dioxide and water are the reactants. But in the teeth, in the uh, cellular respiration, we have got the reactant. In this case, glucose also acts as a reactant as a product. Product in the case of photosynthesis, act as a reactant in the cellular respiration. So glucose is a reactant for the cellular respiration. So what happens, glucose again, following these processes, is convert, which is now a reactant. So, this reactant, we're gonna manage it with this one. All right, so another reactant which we have is the, again, this this reactant is going to convert, all right. Finally, we get we get the water. This is the water. This is water is a product in this case, and the carbon dioxide, which is also a product in this case. And oxygen here, we got the reactant again. So you, I made it very clear. Uh, we have the reactants and the products you look here both are opposite in both cases what is reactant here is actually product here what is product here is actually a reactant here look at this thing hydrogen uh, water and carbon dioxide a reactant here and water and carbon dioxide here product here and, and again the glucose x product and reactant in, in similar cases and uh, for the glucose, which actually is uh, glucose and uh, carb oxygen, which are re uh, which are product here, are actually reactant here in the cellular respiration. So photosynthesis both are different in this case. If we are if we are going to, you know, simply simplify and simplify it and write it in a, in a form of uh, chemical reaction. So we'll be for the photosynthesis, we'll be writing it down like uh, the six carbon dioxide. I'm gonna react with six molecules of water. You see water, carbon dioxide. I'm gonna convert it into the glucose to C6H12O6 plus six molecules of oxygen. So, product reactant. In this case, it's opposite. What happens? We got the C6H12O6, again, plus six oxygen molecule going to convert into product that is the six oxygen molecule six carbon dioxide molecules and plus six h2o that's it that's very easy to understand now let's compare this thing toward this chart so consider it this way at this position we had no energy when we got energy from sunlight look this is a free gibbs energy and this is the reaction process as we go up the energy increases so in here we got no energy when sunlight when we got uh, energy from sunlight the energy level are increasing we're getting more energy look the chart is the chart is going up so energy level is increasing we finally got the glucose at this point and as we descend down the energy the glucose is broken down and releasing energy and as energy is released in this case energy was added so in this case, energy is released. So energy, so the free gives energy, or you can say free energy is decreasing. The total energy is actually decreasing. So the not total energy, the energy which is stored is actually decreasing because the total energy actually remains the constant. So energy is decreasing and finally reaches this position where we started from. So how this char is going to match up with this picture, or you can say with this diagram, which is very simplified.